Hey guys, it's Kinnerty here. Um, I have a new intro for you guys, so before I started the video, I just wanted to let you guys know about that. Uh, hopefully you guys are going to like the new intro, and hopefully you guys are going to like the game that's coming up, the Renowned Explorers game, and I will see you guys later on, alright? Thanks guys, bye! Do this right now. Hello everyone, and welcome to Renowned Explorers. Now, I know this game was not on the list of games that I said I was going to play, and uh, part of that is I completely forgot. Uh, the other part is uh, I spent a very long time struggling to get this game to work for a number of reasons. However, the people at Abbey Core, who are the developers of this game, uh, or rather Abbey Games, uh, they helped out extremely with getting this game to work. <clears throat> they stuck with me for about a month and a half of emails back and forth trying to get this game to work. And we figured out what was wrong. Uh, it had to do, it actually had to do with my hardware. But, um, thankfully it's not a problem with the game itself. But uh, I was just really, really impressed and really thankful that the uh, that the team at Abbey Games were willing to uh, be patient and stick with it and not just offer like cookie cutter advice. But um, <clears throat> oh hey, the gargoyle code. Anyway, um, I also told them that I would be doing a let's play of this game, which I'm going to start now. Huh, excuse me. Let's see, I'm gonna play in discovery mode in normal difficulty. So I'm gonna go through the tutorial with you guys, partially because I need the tutorial again and partially just so it gives you a, a better explanation of how this game is played. So. On the crew screen, we select our crew. We select a captain and two crew members. Right now, I can only choose from three captains because um, I haven't unlocked the others as captains yet. I have to go through three different expeditions with each character, well, almost every character, in order to uh, unlock them. Let's see, I... What's the scary power of electricity more than anything? I'm gonna bring Anna. And I can pick anyone for the crew. That's the good news. And I'm gonna bring Dolores Garcia. Dolores is a defensive fighter with great armor and decent offenses. With either hitting or shouting, Dolores can keep opponents busy and take their hits. She does well in most aggressive or devious crews. Oh, and I didn't even realize it, but she actually uh, is best to go with uh, Anna. Let's see, who is Hatis? Hatis Ottoman. An already respected treasure hunter from Antalya. Very confident of her skill, obsessed with gold. She's a glass cannon scout with amazing attack and speech, but very lacking defenses. She can hit all opponents in a line with her bow and arrows. She does great in aggressive and devious crews as long as there is someone to protect her. Anna is a balanced scientist with very high speech defense and no real weaknesses. She is capable of doing great damage in an area. Anna goes well with most crew members and can develop either offensively or defensively. So yes. Captain Perk, completing research papers will give your study token a random improvement. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. So yes, so we're gonna go ahead and get started on the adventure. <clears throat> this is the crew that is going to explore the world! Welcome to Renowned Explorers. Your goal is to achieve the most renown possible and beat your rivals in the race for the title of Most Renowned Explorer. Renowned Explorer uses unique concepts. To succeed in your goal, there are a lot of strategies and systems you have to discover and master. 
While playing, remember one thing. Renowned Explorers is all about discovering treasures and stories, but also strategies and systems. The game has many new concepts and is quite challenging. Learn about the concepts here or learn them or learn them the hard way as you play. I am going to go through this tutorial. So our goal is to gather as much renown as possible as it said earlier. You especially want to beat the current number one, Matthew Rivalu. You gain renown by finding treasures and collecting gold status and research. During expeditions you can collect resources. Gold, which you can spend on equipment, status, which attracts an entourage, research, which can be spent on research, and insight, which you can use to gain more of the other resources. You might not uh, find a need for these resources immediately, but once you start preparing for following expeditions, they'll be vital. They also yield some renown. You won't get resources directly, though. During expeditions, you will perform actions that give you tokens. Oh, excuse me. At the end of the expedition, tokens will be exchanged for the resources mentioned before. For example, a study will give you research. Later, you can upgrade your tokens for better yields. The expedition ends once you accomplish your expedition goal. You can surely find some secrets and other treasures if you try to explore as much as possible. <clears throat> the hardest part of Renowned Explorers is surviving the perils during an expedition. You need to keep an eye on two particular things. Resolve, you'll lose the game if it ever reaches zero, and supplies, which are used to travel from node to node. <clears throat> Never run out of resolve. If that happens, your crew gives up on exploring and you lose the game. You'll lose resolve from failing some challenges or having a crew member fall during an encounter. You gain resolve for completing an expedition, but otherwise it's really hard to gain resolve. You need supplies to explore. Traveling on expeditions consumes supplies. If you run out of them, your crew will weaken. Still, sometimes it might be worth the risk to go a little further without supplies. That's up to you. You'll often get the chance to regain some supplies, so keep your eyes open. Brief summary for a successful expedition. Find the treasures and complete the expedition. Get as much renown as possible. Collect gold, status, and research to spend later. Don't run out of resolve and supplies. With that knowledge, you're ready to embark on expeditions. An encounter in Renowned Explorers is very different from what you might be used to seeing from a tactical game. You will be able to solve encounters not only through aggressive violence, but also devious bullying and friendly diplomacy. Learn all about them in these tutorial encounters. In this tutorial, you'll learn about basic controls and how to win an encounter. This covers the most basic commands and does not yet discuss the unique systems of the game. So we'll go ahead and try out this uh, tutorial encounter where the Scottish Highlanders will uh, help teach us about the game. <clears throat> we'll gain no rewards. Welcome to your first encounter. Select different participants by clicking on them with the left mouse button. Select your crew members. Yeah. I just like Dolores' smile through that mask. Now move a crew member towards your opponent. You can move your active crew members by pressing the right mouse button over walkable tiles. Ah, no, 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 no. Nope, you get away from them. I did not mean to move you that close. For now we will end our turn. Now move your crew closer to the volunteers. Once you move crew members close enough to an opponent, you can use your abilities to defeat the opponent. Whenever you prepare to use an ability, you can preview its effects. Here's an overview of the information provided. 1. Is the percentage chance the ability will hit or miss. 2. Is a preview of the amount of spirit damage the ability will do. 3. Is a preview of how the ability will change the target's emotion. Different emotions have different effects. And 4 is a preview of the, how the ability will affect the target's vibe. The positivity or negativity of a target's vibe determines if he'll get positive or negative emotions. And, god damn it, that was not what I fucking wanted. Her! Jesus Christ. Okay. 
You are just gonna straight up punch the fuck out of this guy. And kill him. <coughs> Excuse me. You just dealt damage to the opponent's spirit through a physical attack. But don't worry, during regular play you can also overcome unfortunate dispositions through means other than just violence. But for now, defeat these enemies by assaulting their spirit. Shoot that motherfucker! Damn. Matisse is badass. Now normally you'll get uh, rewards for completing different encounters. An encounter in Renowned Explorers is very di- oh yeah, 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 we already saw that. Attitudes. Start the tutorial on attitudes. Okay. So devious, nothing will happen. Friendly, I'll be amazing. Aggressive, I'll be a dummy. So not an aggressive uh, mode. In Renowned Explorers, you won't only enter the encounter to do battle. This is also where diplomacy and bullying takes place. Your crew can resolve this encounter with three different attitudes, friendly, devious, and aggressive. Resolving an encounter with a different attitude affects the course of the game and your rewards. The outcome UI in the top left shows you what the consequences are for having a dominant attitude in an encounter. It just says, I'll be a dummy here, I'll be amazing here, and I'll be okay here. As you've seen, you want to avoid this encounter with an aggressive attitude. You want to avoid finishing it with an aggressive attitude. Bad consequences are marked with a red skull, while positive consequences are marked with a green cross. You want to be either friendly or devious. Now, how do we act upon these different attitudes? To solve an encounter with a certain attitude, your crew members have different abilities. In the abilities tooltip, you can see what attitude they have. You'll notice that the first ability is always aggressive, the second always devious, and the third always friendly. Okay, so target becomes excited if they get a positive vibe, and giving it plus 25% speech. And they can heal an ally's spirit by 20% times their speech. So 20% of their speech. So speech, power, so they get healed by 5 target becomes terrified if, is it, if it is negative, giving it a minus 25 attack. And then, you know, just aggressive. Using an ability on an opponent influences which attitude you'll end with attacking. May, with attacking making you aggressive, terrifying will make you devious, etc, etc, etc. Try out an ability on an opponent. Okay. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Target becomes confident if it is positive, giving it plus 25% attack. Let us talk with this man. If you look in the outcome UI, you see that the bar corresponding with your attitude filled up. Every ability you do influences the outcome. For example, aggressive abilities count heavier than others, and defeating an important boss with a certain attitude counts even heavier rest is for you to find out. Aside from your crew, your opponent also has strengths and weaknesses. For example, wolves won't really care if you're nice to them. On the other hand, some people are more easily hurt with words. Take note of the opponent's armor and speech defense. It will reveal what its weaknesses are. You can inspect an opponent by clicking on them. Oh, wow! They have a hundred armor, giving them a 67% damage reduction. If you looked at the opponent armored volunteer, you might have seen that he has a high armor and that aggressive abilities won't do well. These situations can change your common tactics or make certain attitudes harder to achieve. Alright, let's talk to this guy. And he doesn't want to fight me anymore. And I'll just, you know, encourage you. And in turn. <laughs> so 
What what does that attitude do? Please, this character is pleased, meaning they are positive, but no effects take place. And let's have you encourage this guy. What is oh yeah, yeah, just encourage. Yeah, so we were nice. <clears throat> you were friendly, which means you're amazing. Yeah. In the encounter, you'll have to make use of moods and emotions to achieve your goal. Randomness, randomness plays a small role in an encounter. Mastering moods and emotions is vital for beating the whole game. Brute forcing your best abilities will only get you so far here. <clears throat> but one last tutorial and then we actually get into the game, guys, and I'll go through the first expedition. So, I can do any way I want. I'm going to be a conqueror. In the previous tutorial, you learned about the different attitudes you can have, friendly, devious, and aggressive. Your opponent also has an attitude, which depends on their nature and your action. They can change attitude at the start of their turn. For example, wolves will always be aggressive, while kind villagers will be friendly unless you physically attack them. Enemies have and change attitude, too. The combination of your attitude and the opponent's attitude is called the mood. If both of you are or if both you and the opponent are friendly, the mood is pleasant. This is very important. If your attitude changes, the mood changes as well. The same goes for your opponent's attitude. <coughs> Excuse me. You often start an encounter with an uncertain attitude, which has no moods. Let's use a devious ability to change the attitude and see how it affects the mood. Okay. So we'll go over and try to terrify this guy. You changed your attitude to devious. Combined with the opponent's devious attitude, the mood became tense. You're both hurting, you're both hurling insults or threats at each other. With this, you learned that changing attitudes also changes the mood. We see all that. The mood is very important. There are nine different moods, and each mood has a different effect. All of these effects count for all your crew members. Some are in your favor, while others are terrible. Combinations of moods and emotions can, combined can account for 200% increase in damage done, or 100% increase in damage received. You can see the current effect in the mood UI right underneath the mood. We are now tense, and if you try to be a better man and act friendly, it will have a stronger effect. Okay. Every mood has a different effect. If you're friendly, then devious opponents can be persuaded. If you're devious, you can make aggressive opponents lose their focus. If you're aggressive, you can easily beat up friendly opponents. Beware though, this also counts against you. You don't want to be in an escalated mood where you are aggressive and your opponent is devious. They will get on your crew's nerves until you can't handle it any longer. The last part of moods is how to change, is how to change your current attitude to change the mood. The current mood is tense. According to the previous rules, you'll be better off if your attitude is friendly against their devious. Okay, we can do that. Try to encourage this guy. Wow, 32 damage, nice. You might have noticed that after you use the ability, an attitude pip is added to the bar left of the mood UI. So it's, it's... Oh wait, no, you can't see the mouse cursor, so I'm not gonna bother, like, pointing. This represents how far an opponent is from viewing you differently. If it's full, you change your current attitude and the mood as well. Certain actions, like defeating an opponent, give extra attitude pips. Others remove attitude pips. Moods are the combination of yours and the opponent's attitude. Moods have strong effects, either good or bad. In general, friendly beats devious, devious beats aggressive, and aggressive beats friendly when it comes to moods. This might be a lot to take in, but you'll get more comfortable with it as you go. The last thing we're going to talk about briefly is who in the fuck this guy is and why his hair is so massive. The last thing we're going to talk about briefly is emotions. A lot of abilities have an emotion, like terrified or excited tagged to them. A character hit by such an ability will, under the right circumstances, gain that emotion. You can see them as the type and side effects of an ability. Take a look at your abilities to spot their emotion. So confident saddened, and just attack. Some emotions are positive, others are negative. 
terrified lowers a character's attack, while on the other hand, excited will raise one's speech. Many friendly type abilities have a positive emotion you can get and can also be used to heal your crew members. The last thing about emotions is that characters can have weaknesses and resistances against abilities with certain emotions. The mean volunteers you're facing now are resistant to saddened abilities, but take extra spirit damage from enraged abilities. Okay, I don't think I have any enraged abilities. Time to end this encounter. You! Quickly! Uh, be friendly! <laughs> Persuasive! Plus 30 speech defense. All your crew members gain the better man. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> yeah! Plus 30 speech defense means I don't take that much damage from you, boy. Try to encourage him. Or was that encouraged? That wasn't encouraged. That was try to excite him by talking about science! Yeah! Well done. There are still secrets to be uncovered, and your first game probably won't go that smoothly, but remember, it's all about discovery. Enough! Time for adventure! This is it. You just got your renowned Explorers International Society membership. Anna wants to make a big entrance, finding the burial site of the Saxon Kings. Found somewhere on the mainland of Britain, but King Egbert's grave remains a particular mystery. So it's right over there. There's a few different things. Let's see. Going to this place, there's a nature challenge. There's gold and research to be found there. There's also an encounter over there. So we'll go over here first. As you walk through some rocky hills, Hattie spots a giant bird's nest with strangely colored eggs. These interesting eggs are certainly worth a bunch, but getting them might prove a challenge since big birds are flying around everywhere. Big birds. Big birds everywhere. And success. Hadith sprints towards the nest. A giant bird sees it happening and dives towards Hadith, who dodges its beak just in time. Hadith snatches the eggs and hurries back towards safety. Great. Continue. Okay, and we got two re two studies. Each is worth four to six research, and to collect each of worth each of which. Uh, yeah, no, 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 no. Each collect token is worth 11 to 16 gold. Now, let's see. There is something odd here. Yeah, let's go check it out. You see a giant tunnel entrance in the side of a hill. You decide to take some torches and explore it. You walk for a few minutes until you notice it... <clears throat> excuse me. Until you notice a giant machine standing inside the tunnel. It seems to be some sort of machine drill powered by steam. The machine seems to be a prototype and is broken, but contains cutting-edge technology that can be harvested. So she has a better chance, but still not a great... Fuck. Crew watches in awe how Anna studies every single part of the steam drill, removing every part of it and putting it back together again. After hours and hours spent on the drill, Anna becomes an expert in steam engines. Unfortunately, everything Anna has learned is not cutting-edge. Yeah... Let's see, there's a wits challenge. Do I have a beguiler or, or a quick thinker for this? Um, athlete. Okay, whatever. We're gonna go for that. Halfway up a small mountain, the crew finds an old ruinous Saxon monastery. Many of the Saxon structures were made from wood and did not stand the test of time. A stone building such as this one is a treasure itself. Unfortunately, it does not fit in your backpack. As you approach the monastery, a strange-looking hooded man is standing in front of the monastery. Well, hello there, Triton! <coughs> Wait, Saxon. Give me just a minute, guys. Oh, uh, okay. The Saxons were from Germany, Denmark, and Finland. <clears throat> or, you know, one of those three. Unfortunately, I can't do any of those accents. 
Well, hello there, travelers. Welcome to this old Saxon monastery. I come here once a year to make some minor repairs and clean the place up a bit. It would be a shame if such a nice place went to waste. Saxon men used to come here to test their skills. The most skillful would be rewarded by Tyr, the god of war. All that is left now is this heavy statue of Tyr that warriors would push and feel like a Saxon knight and a trial in the monastery's basement that would test agility and attract noblemen with pretty rings. If you would like to test yourself, go ahead, go ahead, your performance might earn you something. Intimidate the hooded man and demand treasure. Uh, let's see, an athlete, quick thinker, double there, a naturalist and an engineer. She's an athlete and a quick thinker. Let's go to the monastery's basement. Ooh, Hadith has a 92% chance to succeed. Hell yeah. The first time I, I remember this test, the first time I did it, I did it with somebody who should have succeeded but failed anyway. Hadith runs into the long room and notices that a trap is activated. Luckily, Hadith notices it in time and skillfully dodges the trap, after which the same thing happens again. Eventually, Hadith reaches the end of the room in record time. When finally back the, with the hooded man, he says, Wow, that was impressive. Let me see how Tyr rewards you. Man walks out with a statuette of a Saxon knight. Tyr has rewarded you, and I wish you the best in your travels. Yes, the treasure Saxon knight. Receive eight collect for it. Twenty-five renown and one insight. You thank the old man and leave the monastery behind you, carrying the new treasure with you. There's status to be gained there. There's gold and research to be gained there. I think I want status right now, though. You descend a hill and walk past a magnificent grave. You read the stone. Here lies Berenwolf of, Mar of Mercia, King of Mercia. Under his reign, the Abbey of St. Peter was rebuilt. Barnwolf met his end at the hands of King Egbert's army in 826 AD. May St. Peter watch over his soul. The grave of a king. Oh yay, Hatice leveled up. So let's see, I can get Quick Thinker Nimble or Engineer Piloting. I think I'll get her Quick Thinker. And that'll help out with more quick thinking tasks. Oh, and there's an encounter here. Yeah, let's do that. <clears throat> you walk down a small path when you hear shouting and screaming coming your way. Two thieves are running from an angry mob. Since you are blocking the path, one of the thieves asks, Please, Traveler, we have no time for you right now. If you let us through, we will give you some compensation. Decline and stop them. You cannot be bribed. Stop the thieves. <clears throat> Starts rank one encounter. All right, if I do this aggressively, I get three campaign tokens, which will give me 11 to 16 status each. <coughs> huh, excuse me. Is this piercing shot? Oh right, can shoot all of those guys. He hit kind of hard. And she's nearly gone. Alright. Time to end this. Shock that man. Taser! In the balls. Let's see. It's hostile versus hostile. Devious would actually work better here. So I'm going to do that. <laughs> Scary! Attack power decreased by 25%. Awesome. And then... Sadden gives it minus 25% speech. But I'm just gonna take this guy out. And end my turn. Yeah. 
And once more, TASER! And now, we just punch the fuck out of this guy. BAM! Knock out! Yeah! Plus two encounter tokens, which gives gold and status, and... Resolved conflict with aggressive. Plus five armor, plus two attack power for Dolores. The angry mob finally catches up to the thieves and see that you already took care of them. The mob thanks you and everybody now knows about your great deed. So let's see. Give her... Give her an engineer perk. I think that would do well. And now we go for a cultural challenge. I don't think I have anything for that, though. As you walk through the hills, you seem to spot increasing amounts of ancient weaponry lying about the stone ground. It looks like an ancient battlefield where Saxons fought heavily. A battlefield worth studying. Yes, Anna, please succeed. No, fuck off! Anna tries to draw some conclusions, but nothing comes to mind. Fuck you. Alright, let's see if we can get some supplies here. Normally, you wouldn't be so excited about this, but you found an abandoned farm. The fields are overgrown with vegetables and even some, some uh, fruit trees. Supplies! So now we will have... See, really fucking hard time to do this. Take some money and leave. No, 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 no. Let's try Hatis. Ugh. Oh my god, she succeeded. Okay, good job, Hatis. The researcher calms down and is convinced that you are here to help her. She tells you about how a mining company hired her to find the right spots to dig. She even shares some information with you, which was probably classified. Um, there's research to be had there. But we'll go ahead to the Saxon Den. The burial site of the Saxon Kings must be somewhere around. Once you get there, this expedition will come to an end. You can come back to this place when you wish to continue later. Are you ready to go? Yes. The crew searches through the hills and quickly finds what they were looking for. The Saxon burial site. One of the tombs is of King Egbert, a particularly mysterious figure. Finding its secrets will surely skyrocket your reputation at the renowned explorers. However, you hear a familiar laughter. Behind you stands the French explorer Rivalu, who is considered to be the most promising of the renowned explorers. Thank you, amateur. Under Rule 24 of the Explorer Mandate, fellow explorers should help each other out. And I really need to excavate King Egbert's tomb to gain another honorary title. Rivalu is in doubt. Leave this, leave this important treasure to someone like you? I don't know how to explain this to you. Allow my sharp companion Amir Akhtar to explain my thoughts while I snare King Egbert's treasure. Before Anna can stop Rivalu, his crew scout Amir stops you. He means to say you suck, my friend. Ludicrous. He's not letting you pass. Alright, boss fight. I'm gonna kick the fuck out of this guy. I'm gonna do this deviously. Amir thinks you're weak, even though you beat him by being friendly. So let's see. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's do this. Experiment. Making this escalated crap. Crap, what the fuck was I thinking? That's right. We need to turn this shit down now. Okay, and let's beat him with Devious. Awesome. Okay, that should change the mood. And now I won't have minus three speech defense. Uh. Oh. 
Oh, you think you're going to kill me? Not quite. You're all bark and no bite. Ha! Bumbled. I told you they were all bark and no bite. Okay, um... You can give someone extra attack, but I'm not concerned about that. I need her mood to increase, <laughs> like right now. And then you need to scare the fuck out of this guy. You, me, in the ring, right now! And let's sadden this guy. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, Amir is so sad. He's so sad. Fumbled. And fumbled. Awesome. Alright, let's see what we can do about this. Try to terrify him. And he's terrified! What does that do again? Oh yeah, attack power is reduced. And then, let's make him scared again. Oh, he took an arrow to the knee. Oh. Okay, he admired me. They ran away. Good. That leaves us with more energy to explore. Leave. Mir's tone suddenly changes. You, my friend, are... No, wait, wait, wait. You, my friend, are pretty sharp. I must honor you with some coins in this checklist. It describes treasures my boss wants to find. If you beat us to getting one, I guess you deserve it, my friend. He leaves to follow Rivalu, who has already plundered King Egbert's tomb. That bastard. The crew quickly turns to the mysterious checklist you got from the encounter. It seems to be some sort of agenda or scheme. Treasure still to grab. The one hidden in the tomb of the Forgotten King. That one treasure held by the locals. The one in the cachet near the dangerous cliffs. Due date today. It seems Rivalu is going to nab some more treasures. You might be able to get one before him. Which treasure are you going to chase? Let's... In this, let's go to the dangerous cliffs. You surely are a faster and tougher explorer than Rivalu. Maybe you can beat him to exploring the dangerous cliffs and get a fuck ton of collect. Dolores, lead the way! Thank you for not failing. Searching every edge of the cliffs was no easy task, but you did it. Dolores was the one to find a hidden cache at the bottom of a cliff mentioned on the secret checklist. It's loaded with gold, and there's a peculiar treasure. The Heliodor. Plus 20 to 25 gold from treasure hunts. Nice. And an extra treasure hunt. That is amazing. Now, the great parts about treasures is most of them will give you a permanent bonus to upgrade certain collectible uh, tokens. With this last find, your expedition still concludes on a high note. However, it's clear that if you want to be the most renowned explorer, you'll have to beat Rivalu. Now, it's personal. Back to London! Highlands Explored! Damn. Oh damn, only 15 research? Shit, I actually need research. Exotic location uncovered in the Saxon Grave Islands by a promising explorer Anna Proskuryakova. Proskuryakova. Explorer Society board members are excited at the progress of this crooked capitalist. This crooked capitalist. A magnificent job. The board of the Renin, of the renowned explorer the Renin explorers, the renowned explorers International Society is impressed by your exploration skills in the Highlands. For this achievement, Chairman Pinkerton gives you an upgrade to your airship, which will allow you to carry more supplies. Yay! I'm just gonna go straight to this. 
Honorary membership, you gain two supply capacity. Get 30% off El Vigilante's brand branded canned dog food. So let's see. You can get an Athlete Tenacious perk or a Quick Thinker Unpredictable. Athlete gives you extra attack and armor while Grit, while um, Quick Thinker gives you Grit and Speech. But I want you to be aggressive. So you will go with that. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. I need research, so we need more research jobs, which only Anna can do anything with. Yeah! More research. Excellent. Okay. Maybe we can actually research something. Uh, let's see. Choose the fields if you want to advance through research faster. Starting this project will unlock one crew member can learn one naturalist, engineer, or archaeologist perk of choice. Completing all research in this project will unlock Choose One, plus 30% renown from gold status or research. The focus on observation to unravel the puzzles of this world is the most important idea of modern science. The crew has an opportunity to specialize one crew member in any of the sciences. Which crew member will gain a naturalist, engineer, or archaeologist? I think the scientists should get it. Anna has to study hard to learn scientist skill, but is determined to become an expert. What kind of perk will she learn? Let's give her an engineer perk. And let's give her automata. Okay, so let's see. A student joins my entourage, and I get um, another insight, so I can get even more research and level up a research again, or get another research thing. Gain plus one study when doing a study job with insight on the world map. Naturalist, engineer, and archaeologist gain plus one study when they su succeed on the adventure wheel. I, I like that. Anna's brilliance have led to more status from study. Nice! Plus one to two status from studying. Okay, now... We'll look at this. Students give plus zero to one research from study. Merchants give plus one to three gold from collect. Trader gives from encounter, status, and status. Let's get a journalist, a lobbyist, and a trader. And then later on, I'll see about getting a specialist. And finally, we outfit the crew. If some of this stuff wasn't in my way. I think I know how to fix that. Settings. I have this windowed at the moment. I'll be right back. Okay, so that should help out. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Um, a compass. Resist damage taken from enraged species. Speeches. In the survivalist perk navigation. For the engineer perk, advanced tools. I like that. Uh, let's see. Resist damage taken from terrified speeches. Resist enraged. And resist terrified. Uh, decent gloves helps with hitting and gunboat diplomacy. I agree. That is a good thing to have. Get rid of that. Put that there. There you go. I like how Dolores has the exploring book and not the gloves. I find that to be very hilarious, how she has stuff for speech power. Sell that, and decent gloves here. Alright, next time we'll look at getting some decent armor so I can get some more uh, defense. And a memento for speech defense. Okay, guys, so with that, I'm going to end this episode off here. I hope you guys have enjoyed this uh, first look at Renowned Explorers. As you can see, it is definitely a little bit different from the usual um, tactical strategy games, especially with the uh, changes in moods, but just how 
in depth that entire thing can be. Like how all the different, uh, how each mood affects everything and how each emotion affects each person. Uh, also keeping in mind that not every positive emotion is a good thing. So anyway, as I said, I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next video, alright? Thanks guys! Bye-bye!